All right, so you wonder where everybody gets their information from, how they are early, how people know so much, all those influencers. I'm going to unveil them for you right now, a couple of tools. The first one is CoinGecko, which you can use uh, to get all kinds of information, like what the current price is, or what the changes in prices were, the one hour, 24 hour, seven days, a 24 hour volume, market cap. Uh, it will even allow you to go to categories. And then let's say if you're interested in L1 or in AI or in gaming or uh, decentralized finance, for instance, you can just simply find the one that you're most interested in here. So let's take GameFi, for example, click it, and then you will see all the tokens or all the projects that are involved in GameFi, which means that you can then uh, go and search for the ones you like the most, click on them. So in this case, let's go to Beam, for instance, and then you can see all the information about them. Same goes for Coin Market Cap, and what they both have as well is they've got a learn option so if you go to the academy of coin market cap for instance uh, find what fascinates you as a crypto explorer they've got articles for you to read uh, they can help you when you are lost in crypto slang so they will explain to you what the trust wallet is or what the markets in crypto assets is that's a new law that will probably pass at the end of this year so that's very important for crypto holders to realize and to know so basically these two give you a lot of basic information uh, that you can use in your crypto journey. So let's move on to the next one. And for that, I've taken CryptoBubbles.net and this will actually show you in one instance what happened to the prices of different projects. So if a project jumped a lot in price, uh, it will have a bigger bubble. And when it jumped just a little, like BitTensor over here, it's got a little bubble. And that will allow you to see which projects have suddenly gained traction, for instance. Let's take Mina, yeah. uh, and then we go to CoinGecko, and we fill in a Mina. Then we can get more information on Mina Protocol. And another way where how you can get more information on Mina Protocol is to watch my video that I've made about them. Be sure to check them out. So let's go back to Crypto Bubbles. So like I said, you can check for the hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or market cap and day. And that's a great tool when you're short on time, but want one overview of what's happening in the market right now. And then the next one is Dex Tools. And that's actually a very important tool as far as I'm concerned, because I'm using this to find tokens that are not listed, for instance. So those are the meme coins. But please be aware, uh, I'm not invested in a lot of meme coins right now because uh, my focus is something else. My focus is in a different strategy. Also, I'm not a registered financial advisor. Never follow my advice. Only invest money you can afford to miss. Don't buy tokens that I'm mentioning in this video because I can't guarantee you that they will yield you any success. However, another way how you can use Dex tools is by searching for a project. So in that case, you're going to fill in the parasymbol name contractor token here. So let's find a different one. Let's uh, search for Elastos, for instance. I'm going to click Ela. It will take me to this page. And then here we see the contract address. And if we copy that, we can go back to Dex tools and then we can paste it and that will show up all the pairs. So I'm going to click the top one and that basically shows me the purchases and the sales. And what I use it for is to find wallets that hold a lot of ELA or that did big transactions. So I'm going to select on the total. Apparently this is a will, but this is a bot. So I'm going to use the next one, which sold. I'm going to click that one. That will take me to Etherscan. So that's a bonus tool for you right there. And then you can see how many tokens someone is holding, what the current value of their portfolio is. You can see if they've got multiple addresses on different chains. And that will allow you to research sometimes projects that you never came up by yourself. Another project I found that way last week, actually, is origin trail so the ticker for that is track so if i find that one track origin trail it's an ai project as well uh, i'm going to do a video about them i don't know when and the whole reason i found this project is because i found a couple of whales the way i just showed you i checked which tokens they had then i went to bubble maps it's a different one i'm not going to talk about that in this video found some information and then i researched this project and i was like i want to get some exposure so i bought a very very small bag and what's important to know as well is that i'm not here to shield my own bags because i'm way 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 too small to make a big difference in price so even if 
10 of you jump in, buy something. The price won't move very much due to the market caps of these projects. And then another tool that I want to discuss in this video is actually Masari.io. And it's a very important one because this will allow you to check for all the assets or DeFi network tokens, metaverse gaming. So let's go to Deepin because they actually made a report which you can find under the research tab, research reports, which has been discussed by many different influencers. Apparently everybody is reading this. That will allow you to see all the tokens that are put under that category and that will show you the price change, the seven day change. So here's one thing how I'm using it. If you go to ecosystems and you click on Solana, for instance, so that helps you research projects as well because you've got one place where you can find a lot of information. And like I said, be sure to check out their research by going to the research reports on the research tab. Now, the final two tools I'm going to talk about is Arkham Intelligence and DeFi Llama. So first, let's go to Arkham Intelligence, which is a great tool as far as I'm concerned, I'm using it every single day because this will allow you to search for people, projects or whatever and see what they are doing. So if we take the address from Etherscan, and by the way, I don't know this person, so I'm just using it for reference purposes. And then I fill it in here. It's going to show me what the entire value of that person is. And it's going to show me what it's doing. So what that wallet is doing. Now, if I want to visualize what this wallet is doing or what it has been doing, I can click on the visualizer tab and that will allow me to paste the address here once again. And then that will give me this overview. It will show me all the transactions and everything that's linked to it. And that's a great way to research something or an address. Right. So if I go back, I can even create alerts on this person now let me show you how that works because i've made some alerts myself or let me show you what you can do with that i made a couple of alerts over here which means that if these entities are creating transactions and they meet the threshold that i've set i will get a ping in my telegram which you can join as well and that will show me what they are doing which allows me to take steps on my own if i want to Right. Another great reason why I'm using this and you can use my invite code. I'll put it in the link down below is you can create a dashboard and that dashboard actually gives you an overview that you can create by yourself. So I see Alex Becker's portfolio. I see Elio Trades' portfolio. I see how much Bitcoin is, Miria is, Fidium is, Kronos is, Solana is, so projects that I'm interested in. And it gives me the alerts that I've created before. Now, please keep in mind, don't follow this blindly because there are smart people that are sending small amounts to Elio Trades and to Alex Becker, which then makes people go like, oh, they're probably in this project. I need to invest as well. And then they get dumped on you know so don't be that guy and be sure to thoroughly research it yourself and then i've created another dashboard which shows me all the parties that are involved in bitcoin etfs and what the values are and you can see how much they have gained and i've created alerts for them as well so if i see them move large amounts of btc that could mean something so i'm definitely keeping an eye on that but like i said it's all in my telegram so you don't have to do any of this just join my telegram to get the latest news and then the final tool in this video is DeFi llama now why is DeFi llama important i've taken solana as an example right now because this this will show you the total value locked now the more value is locked on a platform the better it is and in Solana, you can see that on November 10th, there was like 9.7 billion. Then we got the crash and everything. So we're around 200, 300 million. But then lately we see it climb. And right now uh, a TVL of 1.8 billion has been realized. And a fun th fact about that is if you go to the price of Solana, so the price action, it actually uh, went up a little bit today. Uh, let's take a year, for instance. You can see that it has grown as well. So the more value is locked, uh, the better the price will perform as well too. So there's lots of information that you can find on them. And it's actually the largest DeFi aggregator at the moment. It provides up-to-date information about all known level 1 and level 2 blockchains. And wherever you are in the world, you can get information about TVL, API, and other project data for free. So be sure to check it out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Do it.